In this video, we're going to look at the vertex form of a parabola. We're going to start with the basic parabola here, y equals x squared. You can see it here in black. We're going to have uh, a couple of graphs here at the same time. So I'm going to add in this uh, graph here, y equals x squared plus k. So I have this little slider here. If k is 0, you can see that the graph of y equals x squared plus 0 is just equal to the original parabola that we have. If k becomes 1, y equals x squared plus 1, have a look at the graph and see what you notice. You should notice that the graph is the same shape. So it has the same step pattern as y equals x squared. It's just shifted up 1. If we change k to a 2, you can see what happens. Same shape, just shifted up, and so on. Notice where the vertex is here. The vertex is located at this point right here, the point 0, 3. K happened to be 3, so the vertex is located at 0, 3. If K is 5, the vertex is at 0, 5. We can also look at what happens when K is negative. So if K is negative 1, you can see that the vertex here is at 0, negative 1. If K is negative 4, you can see there's the vertex right there. So this Y equals X squared plus K over here really just shifts the parabola up or down to give us how far up or down the vertex is. Let's have a look at a different graph. So let's look at this equation right here, y equals x minus h squared. Again, if h is 0, we get the graph that's in green here, the, the uh, parabola y equals x squared. Now watch what happens as h becomes two, three, four, and so on. You can see that we get a shift to the right. Again, the graph is the same shape as the original parabola, but it's now shifted to the right. So when we have y equals x minus five, the graph moves to the right. Now, if h is negative, this is a little tricky, but if h is negative one, this becomes x minus negative one squared. Well, x minus negative one, is the same as x plus 1. So this equation would be y equals x plus 1 squared. And you can see as we slide h to be more negative, the graph shifts further and further to the left. So again, the vertex is, is different. It's shifted left or right. But notice that the step pattern is still the same. Move over 1, up 1. Over 1, up 1, 2, and 3. Over 1, and then up 5, and so on. That's an interesting property there. All right, let's have a look at one more type of graph. And that's going to be this one right here. So y equals a times x squared. So here it is in blue. If a is 1, this is just y equals 1 times x squared, which is the same as y equals x squared. Now watch what happens as a gets bigger. If a is 2, we get this happening. You'll notice that the shape is different now. The vertex hasn't changed, but the shape is a little bit different. It's uh, sort of stretched out vertically. And watch what happens as A becomes 3 and 4 and 5. So you can see what happens. Now, if A becomes negative, we get this kind of behavior happening. You can see that when the A value is negative, the parabola opens down, and it still gets stretched the same had A been positive, but this time in the downward direction. So we saw that as A got bigger than 1, the graph stretched vertically. But what happens if A is between 0 and 1? Well, let's have a look at that right now. So if A is 0.1, we get this kind of behavior, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So when A is between 0 and 1, we get this sort of um, compression, this vertical compression. We get kind of a short, fat kind of parabola rather than uh, a tall, skinny one. So, And we can do the same thing in the negatives. If A is negative 0.1, and as we get closer and closer to 1, the graph uh, gets closer and closer to the graph of Y equals X squared. So again, notice the vertex hasn't changed. It's just the step pattern that's changing. And it's not an accident that the step pattern is the same uh, as whatever the A value is here, multiplied by 1, 3, and 5. 
we've just looked at what we call vertex form of a parabola. We've looked at all the different parts. Let's put it all together now. So here's the equation of a, of a parabola, y equals a bracket x minus h close bracket squared plus k. All of the letters here, the a, the h, and the k, do something to the parabola. So the a changes the step pattern. The step pattern becomes whatever the a value is, multiplied by 1, 3, 5, and so on. Also remember that when a was negative, the parabola opened down rather than up. h shift the graph horizontally, and it gave us the x-coordinate of the vertex. And then the, uh, the other part that we looked at was k. And remember that k shifted the graph vertically, so up and down, giving the y-coordinate of the vertex. Let's have a look at an example. So here we are. We're asked to sketch y equals 2x minus 4 squared. Um, in this case, just list all the values. Uh, a was this value up here, which is a 2. H was the value in the brackets. It's a 4. And K is equal to negative 3. Remember that the H and the K told us how much the graph was shifted. So the K told us that the graph was shifted down 3. So from our standard parabola, the vertex would normally be here, and we're going to shift down 3. 1, 2, and 3. So our um, vertex will be shifted down this far, somewhere along this line. Now h over here is 4, and that was a shift to the right by 4. So we're going to go down 3 in this direction, and over 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that right there is where our vertex should be. Now be careful here. This is a minus sign. Lots of people, when they see that, think that they need to shift to the left. But the minus sign here indicates that the h value is 4. So we shift to the right. So that's the vertex. This parabola opens up since a is positive. And a is 2 in this case. So that means that the step pattern here needs to be 2 multiplied by 1 3, 5, and so on. So remember the step pattern for the standard parabola was 1, 3, and 5. If we're going to multiply those by 2, we're going to get 2, 6, and 10. So we're going to go from the vertex over 1 and up 2, giving us a point right there. We can do the same thing in the other direction, over 1 and up 2, gives us a point right over here. And then from this point, we can go over 1 and up 2 times 3. Remember that our a value is 2, so we multiply each of these by 2. So from this point, we're going to go 2 times 3 is 6. We're going to go over 1 and up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we can do the exact same thing on the other side. From this point, over 1, up 6, which will take us to here. And then we can draw a nice smooth curve through all of our points here. Try not to make it a V. And there we have it. So that's a parabola. It opens up. Step pattern is one, uh, 2, 6, 10. And the vertex is located at 4, negative 3. Let's have a look at one last example. So here's the equation. It asks us to sketch y equals 0.5 bracket x plus 1 squared plus 2. So again, I'm going to start by listing the different values. So the a value was the 0.5. The h value in this case. This is where things get a little tricky, so make sure you're paying attention. Remember that in vertex form, it was h, sorry, pardon me, x minus h. So if we're going to get this to be a minus sign in here, x minus some value, the value that has to go inside here is a negative 1. That's because these two negatives in here, these two minus signs, would give us a plus sign. So h in this case is equal to negative 1. And k... 
is equal to 2. So now we know that the vertex is located at, this is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and this is the y-coordinate. So the, the vertex, pardon me, is located at negative 1 in this direction, 2 in this direction. Here is the vertex. We also know that the a value is 0.5. So that means from this point, we're going to go over 1 and up 0.5, so up a half, which puts us somewhere along here. Same in the other direction, over one, up a half. And then from here, we're going to go, remember the normal step pattern was one, three, and five, and so on. We multiply these values by a half. So one times a half was a half. Three times a half is one and a half. So from here, we're going to go over one and up one and a half. Well, here's the half. Here's the one. We get a point over here. Same idea here, over one, up half, plus one more. And then we get a nice parabola, nice smooth curve through those points, looking something like this. So that's how we can use the vertex form of a parabola to graph the parabola.